Hello YouTube, it's Frim here and I'm back with a new video for 2014. In today's video I would like to talk about my plans for this year and a little bit about my new game I'm trying to finish before the end of the year. In this year I'm planning to make two video series. One is about programming, where I daily talk about what I achieved, what was the problems that arised, and generally just stuff like about my game. In the other series, I'm gonna do a Let's Play series to get me more comfortable to talking to my PC. Because I feel like that's the biggest problem I have currently in these videos. About the game, I had an RPG slash a strategy idea for a while now, but, but I just didn't have the, have the skills to do it. But after years of working with Java and the lightweight Java game library, I finally feel like I can start start making something cool about the game. Let's see, the plan is to lead four or five heroes in an RPG slash strategy environment to battle against vampires, demons, zombies and whatever fantasy creature I can think up in a modern day environment. It will try to combine medieval arts, warfare, like swordmanship, crossbows, and some other weapons along the lines of guns, rifles, flamethrowers, and maybe rocket launchers even. That, but that might be a stretch. The game itself is based around a little city that is constantly getting attacked by supernatural monsters. In the, the game will be highly story oriented, which means there will be no more sandboxing like I had in my other games. The main plan for this scenario build up is it's really it's gonna be really hard to lose missions, but if you lose a mission in the way of you didn't die but you didn't accomplish anything, the effects will show in the next scenario or the one after that. So think things can snowball out really fast. For example, I currently have an idea of you have to protect a really rich and powerful pers person from turning into a vampire. If you can make that, he can give you money for your next few mission, thus repaying your, your debt. But if you can't save him, he will turn into a vampire and will uh, give money, give that money to the vampires. And stuff like this will happen all around the campaign. For now, let's talk about how the development will go and how I'm gonna document that. As you can see, this flowchart I drew up last night. It was about two or three hours argument of how it should look, but now I, we feel like it's done. The main idea with this is I'll color code everything depending on if I worked on it that day, if it's finished or if it's worked at all. As you can see now everything is in red which means I haven't coded a single line yet. But we'll get to that part too. Maybe today. Maybe I can start it today. I'm not really sure at this moment. Let me talk about it a bit. Mm. The war game will be held together by the logics and data uh, classes. The data will hold every current um, entity, which are maps, actors, the GUI elements and particles, and I'm not really sure what else yet. Also, it holds together the cam game that is loading from files. A big step I have for the game that I didn't really have in my other programs is to make sure it's moddable easily, so you can add new scenarios, new monsters, uh, pretty much new anything if you want, just from editing TXT files, or maybe I will even include an editor. Also, this is going to be my first game that actually uses the OpenAL system that lets me play music during my d d during the game. <sighs> Let's let me talk about a bit of the maps because they're going to be really important. The maps will be built up from tiles. I cannot try and use some sort of lighting system. I'm not sure how this is going to work since I was reading a lot of tutorials but doesn't really understanding them. 
So I might just hard code everything and see where that takes me. The tiles are built up from bases that you can walk on like a floor and decorations that I like a chair or maybe a statue, things like that. The GUI will be built up from picture boxes if that's like if I have to show a skill, so I need to show an icon. Text boxes where I can show information. Input boxes where the player can input uh, things like this, character names, maybe a redo, uh, answer to redos. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that, but that would be a cool idea. And buttons, two different kinds so far. Tick buttons where you have to tick in things, I guess. And press buttons where you have to press it and something happens. The particle system will be handled by particle generators that I can place anywhere on the field. So they will uh, create particles everywhere and it's going to be easier to control them. The campaign will be loaded up from files as I said earlier. It will only hold a scenario list and every of these scenarios will hold events in it. Only the events are going to be hard coded in the, in the program. The events gonna be something simple like just spawn event, kill event, and I don't, don't really think this through yet. It's gonna be probably more than that, but won't be all that many. I mean, it, it won't be all that complicated since then you can make up your own, your own scenarios easily. Other than that, the main problem is probably gonna be the AI because I'm planning to make it react to your to your actions better than just coming there and hit you as like I did before. I think this is all for today. Tomorrow I will be back with another programming video.